Hello, welcome to the video. Let's go ahead and get started. So I previously posted a couple of videos that were titled something like uh, my favorite videos of like December 2021 or just a given month, but very few of the videos I talked about were, were released in that month. They were just videos that I happened to watch at that time. I think that was kind of confusing. So now I'm just going to be calling these videos videos that I like. So this is the third one. Technically, I'm just going to talk about five YouTube videos that I happened to watch recently and talk about why I like like them, maybe recommend them if you're interested in similar things, if they look fun to you. <laughs> Let's go. So first up is the case for Mark Rothko. So this is from a channel called Art Assignment, which is part of the PBS umbrella of like their, their digital productions. And I don't know if you've noticed this, but PBS has done some really pretty darn good work here on the internet and specifically on YouTube. Uh, they have a literary series called It's Lit, which is it's funny. It's fine. <laughs> An art assignment is obviously focused on fine arts, visual arts, and these are wonderfully produced videos. They tend to be pretty quick so that they're not going to get into crazy amounts of detail, but they give you a rundown, and that's certainly what's happening here in this video on Rothko. At least for me, someone who really doesn't know all that much about fine arts, I, I know a teeny little bit and various artistic movements, etc., but I don't know that much about particular artists, and I rarely understand, you know, in context and historical context why each artist's work was so significant. However, I've just had this thing lately over the last couple of months where I've just felt drawn towards Rothko's stuff. I have never really spent too much time with it before. All of a sudden I was like, yeah, you know what? I think I really like Rothko. <laughs> I think I really like his stuff and I want to learn more about it. This video here was the perfect resource, wonderfully narrated, uh, very well written. Uh, it's very matter of fact, of course, and like I said, pretty quick. So it's just an overview of his career and why people care about his work, the effects that uh, the work tends to have. And I love it. It's wonderful. I I'm sure to, I'm going to be delving into this series, the other videos from Art Assignment to learn more about fine arts. And yeah, just get like a basic breakdown of major figures in the art world and understand a little bit more about them. Okay, that's that one. Moving on. Uh... <laughs> something very different from what I was just talking about. This is something called uh, Xbox Game Pass Presents. This is technically a, a series of videos they've been doing now, and this is just straight up advertising for Xbox Game Pass. If you're not familiar, it's a, it's a game subscription service that is generally regarded as like one of the best deals in gaming for like a starter price of 10 bucks a month. You're getting a lot. You're getting an access to quite a few really high quality games, and I'm a fan of Game Pass. It might get bad later on. On, but for the moment, it's pretty darn great. And clearly Microsoft and, and the Xbox team specifically, they know that they've got a really good thing going with Game Pass. And typically what you kind of expect from a company when they push these subscription services is like, oh, they're just counting on people to forget about it. So they'll keep paying money for it. And that's how they cash in, right? People just let the service continue on indefinitely. But here with these videos, aside from production, which I'll be talking about soon, they're also just great because they are really prodding you. Like they're actively reminding you, hey, if you've already got Game Pass, look at all the cool stuff you could be playing. They'll have stuff that was recently added, stuff that's been there for a long time. And if you're not already subscribed, this serves as a really good motivator. It's just good marketing, period, which I don't come across very often. And I typically don't appreciate marketing and advertising all that much. But in this case, it's just smart. It's just a smart move. And on top of that, yeah, the production side of things, these are kind of funny. They're creative. This one in particular from a few months back is all based around like it's made to look like an old VHS cassette tape uh, with, you know, old commercials or something taped off a of TV. And it's pretty darn good. Like each of the different genres has its own little live action bit ahead of time. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. And uh, they continue to release these videos every once in a while. And it's genuinely helpful to me. It reminds me. Oh, look for more stuff on Game Pass. Here's some stuff you can check out. But I think that's enough said about that one. Moving on. Okay, so this is from a channel that I can't pronounce or read. It's a Japanese channel, I have to assume. I can't read part of the title of this video either, but it's the Kill Me Baby Dance. So this is, this is uh, basically a frame-by-frame -frame recreation of uh, a dance 
from the, the ending credits sequence of a show called Kill Me Baby, which I'm not familiar with at all. Never watched it, but we have two characters here <laughs> and they're dancing. And this person does really, really impressive animation by cutting out these highly detailed paper cutouts, <laughs> I guess we should call them, and putting them up against, I guess, like a piece of plexiglass or something. And it's a really neat effect, especially when you take into account that like a lot of the uh, sort of shading is accomplished by just having stuff be completely transparent, just removing big chunks of paper. And it looks great. Like this is just impressive. And the idea of trying to put something like this together myself just gives me a headache, like the logistics and trying to be so precise. I don't think I'm going to be doing anything like that anytime soon. Also, it's a heavier paper stock. It looks like a, either watercolor paper or heading into the heavier weights for sure. So you have this nice texture on it too. It's just fun. I highly recommend checking out some other videos from this channel. Links to all this stuff, obviously, in description. Okay, next up we have Spool, spool, spool Machine. It's a German, a German channel. Uh, the title is also German. This is a, an educational video on how a dishwasher works. So that's that. And I feel like I have to do a little bit of explaining on this one because obviously I don't speak German. This is apparently part of a show, like an educational TV series for kids that is also related to another German television show from kids that was go big in like the 90s, early 2000s called The Show with the Mouse, which is a very good name for a kid show and both of these shows are, are narrated by this guy here who is a, an author and presenter and generally like a public figure I guess in, in Germany and yeah this is just educational content with entertaining visuals and simplified enough for, for kids to understand. This one in particular I just love the different ways that they try to visualize the, the intricacies of the process like how does dishwashing soap actually work and what's happening inside the machine, etc. Whereas today, I feel like most, if not all of that kind of explaining and visualization would be done with CG. Here you get a good mix. You get some of the sort of computer generated stuff in some episodes. And then here you also just get like my favorite one is the real people sitting with the balloons that I guess is like dirt molecules and soap molecules and something else. And here's the kicker. There are no English captions or subtitles for these. You can try the auto translated English subtitles, but they're not very good at all. <laughs> I'm not necessarily recommending this to everyone, but I get this weird joy from watching these videos and having no idea what's being said and just going purely off the visuals. It's kind of great. I don't see too many people finding that same enjoyment in this series. But if you're weird enough where that sounds fun to you, please check it out. They're also genuinely informative. And hey, if you speak German, you're good to go. You can enjoy these fully. In fact, if you if you grew up in Germany, you're probably already hyper familiar <laughs> with this whole series with this dude. And you're just yelling at me like, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a kid's show. Anyway, I love it. And the last one we have here is uh, the, the latest video at the time of recording from Tanta Cruel. He's, I mean, he's great, isn't he? One of my favorite YouTube channels typically talks about about music, music theory, uh, music's relationship with culture. He's also incredibly familiar with the academic world and academic writing on various topics. His stuff tends to be pretty dense. And here the topic is musical elitism. The full title is musical elitism. Why it's everywhere in all caps. And it's very good. It's what, like an hour long, which is pretty massive for stuff on his channel. It's been a long time since he's released a big video there anyway. And it's just great. It goes into the history of especially classical music and how it's been perceived through different eras of history and by different social and economic groups. He goes into obviously like contemporary pop music and how uh, so many recording artists are depicted in their various music videos and just public appearances and things like that. There's way too much here to talk about in detail, but if the subject sounds at all interesting to you, if you want to dive into some slightly headier stuff, this is just a fantastic resource. And as he typically does, Santa Crow also includes, you know, sort of like like recommended reading basically where he'll say hey if you want to check out this this is a great book here's a great article that someone wrote about this topic over here so it's not like it ends with this video and it's a definitive resource no you, you start here and if you want to learn more about a specific topic you go off and and find some more resources just wonderfully produced very slickly edited and everything and very long so you really got to sit down with it that's all for now i think that is all of the videos that i wanted to mention here just five of them as always please feel free to recommend 
videos. I don't know if you can post links in the comments. I'm not sure about those rules, but at the very least, if you feel like posting a, a channel name and a video title, feel free, please. And uh, I don't have too much else to say here, so I guess I'll just say thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.